Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to episode two of quarantine series, self-isolating series, whatever I decide to call it, I don't know yet. And in today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys just what's in my refrigerator, freezer, pantry. I just thought it'd be fun because I like to look at other snacks and things that people have in their kitchen and um, things they plan on making during this time, however long it's gonna last. So let me show you guys what's in my kitchen. So in the refrigerator, ooh. Don't mind that down there. That is like, I don't know if it's stuck on sugar or what. I tried cleaning it up. It's a freaking mess. So this is an overlook of the fridge. Quickly, I'll just show you what's over here. I have brown sugar in there. And then these two things right here are vegetable, um, vegan like broth paste. This is the chicken one that unfortunately, unfortunately I'm almost out of and that's the best one ever. I think I'm gonna do like a vegan transition or like vegan staple um, things that I recommend you have when you're like transitioning as um, plant-based or vegan. That's definitely one of them. And then the vegetable. This is B12. My vitamin D3, this is elderberry syrup. I've been taking every day, especially right now during this time. We have garlic, jelly, chili sauce. My fridge keeps closing. Barbecue sauce, which we just discovered um, at the store because they were buying get one by the brand Sticky Fingers, the sweet southern heat. Yo, this barbecue is legit. Jelly, syrup, earth balance, butter, another staple. And then we got banana peppers right there, chili sauce, peanut sauce, a lot of sauce, buffalo, mustard, and then um, coconuts, aminos, really good. Down here, left to right, I got some flaxseed, ketchup, more jelly. This is black bean sauce, jajang sauce, pasta sauce. Um, fun fact, wishbone creamy French dressing is vegan. This is some poison. Let me fix this. And then we got sriracha, of course, more mustard. This is vegan Worcestershire sauce. This is sesame oil, sofrito, coconut sugar, and then some salsa and tahini. And then down here are things that we don't really consume, I guess. I wanted to pick this up just to try something new. And uh, this stuff is not good. So this is just sitting down here with some moonshine that we got a few years ago from Tennessee. I don't even know if it's still good or not, but yeah, it's just chilling there. And a lush um, bath product I keep refrigerated. Now we'll move to the top shelf. As you can see, I have some LaCroix and then pickles, which belong over here. Got a bowl of gala apples. We have some shredded carrots back here and some asparagus right there. Second shelf, we got silk chocolate milk, a gallon of water back there, some just mayo, the best mayo, grapes, 100% orange juice, a mini watermelon back there, um, a big jar of guava goddess kombucha, my favorite kombucha. I had to get the large one just to last us a little while. It's really good um, for your gut and like probiotics and all that. We have my favorite creamer ever, silk sweet and creamy, the best when it comes to like finding a an alternative to like a sweet, let's say international, is that the creamer brand? You know, the um, creamer brand that has like every single flavor out there, this is so good, compares to it. Unsweetened milk here, and then let me pull this out. And then I got soy milk there, and then some more unsweet milk there you know, for cereal. And I'm gonna be making a lot of recipes. I'm gonna try my hand at bread and biscuits. So that'll be fun. And then in here, I just got some random things. I got some sour cream and I will show you in a bit what I do with this. Ginger, lemon, a little bit of butter left. And then on the last shelf, we have a little salad, some celery. This is parsley. This is 
endives i think that's how you say it and the reason i got this is because they were completely out of lettuce like romaine lettuce when i went to the store the other day so i just got this and then back there we got granny smith apples random but we have a container of sauerkraut i got the big um can of sauerkraut from the store and then that's just I'm storing it and then this is leftover amazing chickpea curry with a little rice we have a couple more bags of lettuce or salad there and a cuke and then we got some onions in there now for my freezer Ooh, she's looking a little stocked there I'll start with the door we have some rice cauliflower which honestly Still haven't made, it's been in here for months. I used it as an ice pack last week, not gonna lie. I'll take that out. I have um, just some veggies here. This is a frozen bag of mixed veggies, like the carrots, peas, corn, green beans. We have two green peppers. This is onion, right? Yeah, onion. And then this is bell peppers, onions, and parsley. I love having frozen veggies on hand just in case, you know, I run out of the fresh produce and like when I'm cooking, it's essential for me to have at least some sort of frozen veggie, you know what I mean? Um, so now for um, the second shelf. Oh, trying to hide that. <laughs> A little mini Jim Beam apple whiskey, anybody? Um, two bags of frozen berries. This is mixed berries and raspberries. I also have frozen cherries. This is the Gardein Italian sausage slices. So good. A little bit of Ben and Jerry action over here. We got the half baked peanut butter and then we have chocolate, chocolate fudge brownie. Yes. And we have a bag of ice because our ice maker i don't know why it kind of tastes chemically so we stopped using that until we get it fixed big bag of fries and then back there inside the box of the turkey roast is actually just a bunch of packs of gravy and then we have a few packs of gardein y'all know it's my favorite meat brand so i got beefless ground beefless ground and what do you know it beefless ground We also have some Trader Joe's meatballs. And then down here, I have a um, bag of broccoli, an open bag. There's a little left of the beefless ground. And then we have some of the Gardein breakfast sausage. This is gonna be for biscuits and gravy. You already know what time it is. Got a video right here of um, a mukbang with biscuits and gravy. I have a few actually. Then we got some more frozen raspberries. Ice packs down there. We have the Boca chicken patties. And then we have two of these um, Beyond Sausage Bratwurst. So delicious. Very random, but this is an extra one. I'll put it up there. Way in the back, I also have organic, the almond cream banana chip ice cream. This tastes like banana bread and it's so good. So that is the freezer. And so above the refrigerator, we have some street taco um, tortillas, Ruffles chips. We got some red potatoes. Another staple that I just have to have um, like carb wise, if it's not rice or pasta, definitely potatoes, love those. So many recipes. So many ideas, anything. And then I have some gold potatoes here. In the back there, we have some sriracha, um, like cheese puffs, chip. We got a bunch of produce here, avocados, lemon, banana. We also have two um, plantains to make platanos. We got some Cuban bread. Two pineapples, definitely gonna cut one of them today, probably this one. Pretzels, and then kind of uh, caved and got some sugary cereal. We have Captain Crunch and Oreos. This one's so good. Do I have anything else up there? We have a sweet potato there, and then a bag of, oh, right there, chia seeds. 
there's not much to show here um it's just seasonings but i just wanted to say for that sour cream that i showed you guys i'm gonna be mixing that with this and then dipping it with ruffle chips game changer so freaking good so yeah we just have some you know tea peanut butter nutritional yeast things like that not too much to show got my other pantry well my main pantry um got some canned goods so we have the all-purpose baking mix i'm gonna make biscuits with this probably um bread pizza pancakes whatever then these two which are also vegan um, muffin mixes, wild blueberry and banana, three um, milks, soy milk, and two unsweetened almonds, just for like baking purposes and cereals and things like that. We got some canned foods, so black beans, refried beans, green beans, um, corn, diced tomato, and diced tomato. And then I had to get some more of this vegetable um, broth paste just to stock up in case because like i have no idea no one knows really how long this is gonna last and not gonna lie maybe i kind of i don't want to say overreacted but i definitely bought more than what we probably actually need um so just in case in case we can't leave our house for whatever reason but you know i'm not the only one who was overthinking it but Anyways, got some paste for that in case we uh, make soups, things like that, and some tomato paste. Some more green beans, got some baked beans and more green beans. I'm obsessed with green beans, butter, and uh, McCormick bacon bits. Oh, so good. We got some quick oats. And then the second shelf is tomato sauce, well, pasta sauce, um, ragu. We have, this is kind of like my backup shelf. We have a backup of mustard. That black bag is pink Himalayan sea salt. We have some jasmine rice. We have the split, shout out to Remy. That's where I got the idea from. Those are really good. Some more ketchup. We have a bag of lentils. I'm gonna do like um, lentil soup. And I also think I'll make some like sloppy joe meat from it that sounds really good this is a jar of chia seeds to make chia seed water um really good for you of course i have a bag of jajamyeon my favorite down to the last bag and it's very sad because i don't know the next time i'll be able to go to the asian market to get more back there are my um amino energy it's my powder super good it's in the flavor like juicy strawberry and it tastes like starburst the pink starburst so good got some raw cashews more of that barbecue sauce panko breadcrumbs and cold brew coffee mix from starbucks and then way up there i cannot reach but it's pretty much just things like the vinegar that is a veggie pasta, which is super good. Um, spaghetti, that green bag is a pack of the chili ramen noodles. So good, so unhealthy, but hey, easy meal. And then we got cane sugar there, two bags of burrito tortillas. And yeah, that's it for the pantry on this side. And then over here, we just have, dun dun dun. The LaCroix was buy two, get one free. I just had to do it. So we have passion fruit, key lime, coconut, my favorite. Coconut LaCroix is the best. And then a few things here on the island. We got some bread from the bakery. This was out because I made avocado toast, but this seasoning right here, let me put you on real quick. From Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel seasoning, go get you some, so good. Bananas. Um, which I'm waiting for these to turn really brown and then I'm gonna freeze them to make banana and ice cream. And I have some more fruit here. Um, so we have avocados, these amazing navel oranges and uh, lemon right there. And then while I'm over here, I'll just show you, I'm currently soaking some raw cashews for an Alfredo that I'm making later today. 
if you want a recipe let me know and i'll be happy to make it for you and yes so that is everything that's in my fridge freezer pantry let me know some of your essentials for being in the house for a few days or some food and drinks that are your go-to's to be honest i'm about to make that uh that onion dip, it just sounds so freaking good. So yeah, that's it for today's episode of this series. Definitely some more to come. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, night, wherever you are in this lovely world. And I will see you very soon. Bye.